Welcome to another episode of Fearless and Power Tube. I've got a great question for you. Are you getting in your own way? It wouldn't be the first time that we got in our own way on the journey to success. Success could mean so many different things. Success in our personal or professional life is ultimately the goal that we all want. But one of the biggest problems that we have is living in a conscious level that doesn't really help our life. If we are living in a conscious level that is beneath us, then we will never reach our goals. We'll never reach the level of success that we want. So I want to introduce you to a couple of the success levels. In fact, there are four conscious levels and I will tell you where you might be living. For example, conscious level number one is living in escapism. So when we are living in escapism, we are spending a great deal of our time escaping life, escaping our problems and our stress. See, we're living in overwhelm, especially here we are in this century where we've had more social media, more things coming at us than ever before. Life in some ways is so easy because of the conveniences that we have, but on the other hand, it's also more complex and overwhelming than it's ever been. So what do we do with that? We find ourselves escaping with alcohol and drugs sometimes. So sometimes it's just hours and hours of TV. Sometimes it's food where we want to just feed ourselves to make us feel better and escape the drama, the stress, and the overwhelm of the day. So conscious level number two is what we call minutia. That's where you get caught up in the drone of the day, the, the treadmill of the day, the nine to five just drag that we have on our life where we're not feeling fulfilled in our life, happy. And it just feels like we've become, our life has just become a chore. And we're just getting through the day, day after day after day. Nothing new in our day, nothing exciting in our day. Our day is boring and there's no level of success and no hope for anything fun. And then there is the third level of consciousness, which is where we're living in the physical time consciousness. This is where we are either living in the past, dealing with pain and memories of what's happened to us. We call that our baggage sometimes because it interferes with our day. Sometimes we can't go out and, and make new relationships. We can't go after that job or get a job promotion or anything because we're dealing with fears and insecurities from our past. But also think about it as though we're always thinking about what's going to happen next. And that can get in your way of success and feeling fulfilled and happy in your life. And then the fourth level of consciousness is where we're living in the now moment, when we're really observing life in this very moment. Now I can tell you that it is very difficult for us as humans to live in this level of consciousness because of where we are in society today, because of what we brought into our lives. We have no one else to blame for not living in this conscious level because we've brought things to us. We keep bringing more and more and more into our life and we're not saying no. We're not shutting everything down. And what ends up happening is we can't see our goals. We can't have a moment of peace in our own mind. Have you ever felt like life was coming at you so fast that your head just was spinning. That's what's happening to a lot of people I talk to. And honestly, I've been there. I've felt that. I'm a single mom and I've got a little one that I homeschool and having my own business. So I completely understand what that's like. 
Now, there's no crime in living in escapism from time to time. You need a little vacation from your life and you just want to have marathon TV sessions. And maybe you want to just kind of overindulge a little, little bit with your friends. It's like having a party, right? But when you do that, a little more often than you should, you're probably going to live a pretty unhealthy life physically and mentally. So while that can be okay from time to time, it's not optimal for living out your goals and achieving success and fulfillment. So the art of fulfillment is something that we're all chasing. We want to be fulfilled in our life, but how can we? when we're caught up in minutia, when we're living in the past, when we're thinking about what's gonna happen next, there's no way you can have a fulfilling conversation and give of yourself to someone when you're not even listening, when you're caught up in what you wanna say. You're living in this ego place, aren't you? There's no way we can feel fulfilled, truly fulfilled in our lives when we can't give of ourselves. So, if you are not achieving a level of success and you're getting in your own way, I want you to think about it after you watch this video. What level of consciousness are you living in? And is it serving you? So that's all I have for you today. I want to invite you over to my brand new U2.0 community. It's a life mastery community designed to help you in every area of your life that you're interested in changing. Let's face it, we all know that there's an area of your life that's working and areas that aren't. So let's improve your life to the fullest so that you can enjoy it. And also, I wanna invite you to a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. Let's see if we jive. Let's see if I'm a good fit for you. If you're interested in making your life bigger and better than what it is today, hop on over to fearlesspursuits.com and you can sign up for a discovery session today.